Hi, um, I'd just like to share some more things that I've made. I've just started posting on YouTube um, this week actually and um, my passion at the moment is um, altered journals, notebooks. Um, I just thought I'd like to share some of the other things that I make that um, I've had a bit more practice at so I'm slightly better with. Um, the journals are a new thing and uh, I'm a bit rubbish at him, but I'll get better with practice. But this is what my main passion is, uh, tutus. I use the headband technique where you, I mean there's millions of tutorials, they're easy enough to find. Um, you just knot it onto the headbands. I make um, boutique style bows, again if you want to type that into YouTube, there's a million and one um, tutorials on it. Uh, this one is two layers, I've got baby pink and then white and then al on alternate um, white ones I've tied um, a contrasting colour of net to the ends to make it stand out. Um, I've just hang them on these baby hangers just to store them. Um, most of the American tutorials you'll see are using Tool or tool, however you want to say it, which is quite soft, and um, this is dress net, which is a bit stiffer. Um, but tool is so expensive in England unless you like order it in from China. So it's dress net, but I think it makes them more poofier, and they stand out better. Um, I, I've done quite a few of these. This is the only one I've got to show you because um, as quick as I make them, the they go back out again and um, they're quite popular because they're individual and they're all one of a kind and they're really really cute so there you go and um, something else that I've made is a hair bow holder I love this um, again my camera's absolutely rubbish I can't see what I'm doing because I'm holding it at the same time it's got a tulle skirt with ribbon and a bodice and wings and the idea is that you put your clips and your headbands, hang them off the ribbons on the lattice. Again, if you put in hair bow holder into YouTube or Pinterest, you'll come up with a million and one tutorials. This is not my idea at all. Um, but I've made this basically out of scraps. Um, the bodice is made out of cardboard. It's padded with... Um, the inside of an old quilt that I washed and reused. Ribbon I've always got because I do a lot of crafting with ribbon and I buy it cheap. And that skirt there is made from um, some more material that I cut off the bottom of some Ikea netted curtains that were far too long. And the little flower I've made myself and the uh, Fabric there is actually vintage fabric that my mother-in-law gave me that she made a table cover out of in the 50s. She no longer wanted it so I said I'd reuse it. So in total I think the only thing that I've bought for that project is the little wings that I got from the pound shop. And I love it, absolutely love it, it's so cute. Um, but as I say, I'm onto these journals at the moment, and this is a very basic one that I made. Um, the little dress thing is off of a birthday card that I got recently for my 40th. And I loved it so much, I decided to stick it on the front of this this journal. Um, I really need to get my other camera, this is terrible. Uh, a load of ribbons over. Uh, the idea being that not only do they look pretty but when you're using it you can take them inside the book and use them as bookmarks. Um, I've used this again. I used one in another journal. They're like little elasticated headbands. You can buy them in the pound shop. Uh, they look pretty but they also like you can use it to hold the journal shut uh, which I thought was a good idea. And then I'll just want to show you, I started this yesterday, um, put some more stuff on, I did some of these little, oh god my hand looks massive, um, these little charms, 
using um, stick pin method again by um, Jennings 644 she shows you how to make beautiful stick pins and I've, I've followed the kind of idea but I've just used um, really long flathead um, dress making pins because I didn't I don't have all the loads of crafting stuff and these I just used what beads I had in that I've used from pearl necklaces from charity shops and stuff I don't have all the spaces and the bead caps and things and then I just glued them in and then I just used this the, the idea of this is as a um, it could be um, like a scrapbook or a photo album so I just made this little it says sweet memories and then I stuck you can see some threads of glue there I'll pull them off just stuck some dialy parts around it to make it look a bit more because I had quite a lot of space um, a lot of crafters seem to fill every last centimetre of space. I don't really want to go down that line. Um, I don't want to overload it and cram it with stuff because I think it spoils them. I think they can look a bit spoiled. So, there you go. I'm going to be doing some more of these books I think and I'm going to have a go at making some tags as well so I'll put that on as soon as I've done some more and thanks for watching